work. You know, every time there's a conflict, you sell it with fisticuffs. So I like to deal with people like you're in law enforcement. I didn't have I noticed how me and my brother started acting once my dad went to prison because it's a certain way we knew we couldn't act because when he got home, it was going to be on. So how important and, and what you think the connection is with this whole promotion of single motherhood and and not to say parents got to stay together, but you still need that child still needs some line to his father, because what is most of these rappers are saying? They turned to the streets because, you know, they didn't have a family. They didn't have a father, but they still had mama right there. So obviously, and just like me as a kid, when I saw other kids, when they had their father there at these parent teacher days or, or father daughter days or father son days, sorry, father daughter. I'm, let me drink to that. Hold on. <laughs> father son days. And then my dad wasn't there. It just it just did something to me. It just made me feel like, well, damn, uh, I know mom is good. Mom is great. I'm not saying that. And uh, but I'm, all I'm saying is why he ain't there. You know what I mean? It just still made me wonder and ask questions. And so I think a lot of these young men um, and maybe you this is your field more so than mine. What's the connection you think that is to crime? Well, I'll, I'll respond to you by telling again, this is probably the last I'm y'all. I'm telling y'all all my business, but I mean, I, it's it's worth it. And I feel like it, it needs to be told because it, it could probably reach somebody. So I, I'll tell my story as it relates you know, to my father. And I, I just shared this with you maybe a week or so ago when we were talking about it. So mm -hmm. why I feel like fathers are important in the grand scheme of things, because me, you know, as an individual, that is my weakness, because in my mind, I somewhat don't know who I truly am as a man. Mm -hmm. the only way I can really discover who I truly am as a man is by having a conversation with the man who helped create me. Mm -hmm. So initially in my life, I told you my father was from the same community as my mother. My, my mother sat on the right side of First Friendship Baptist in Dixville. My father sat on the left side. The Latinx were on one side, the Walkers were on the other side. Walkers, Moses, whatever you want to call it, you know, it, it, they were on the other side. So my mother and my father were in the same church. So uh, in, in my mind, you know, as I grew up, I had this this hatred and hate is a strong word for me to use. Right. That, I did too, though. Right now for me, I had right. this hate, you know, towards my father because I could not understand why he didn't want to be a part of me and people make the memes about will smith and that episode and fresh prince of bel-air but mm -hmm. that episode still messes me up you know to this day because mm -hmm. i could never understand what was it about me that made you not want to fight to be a right. part of me. so right. again here going forward my understanding of it was or my interpretation of what i just made myself go to sleep with at night he just didn't want to be there yeah no and that's, the, that's the worst thing you could think and that's what you don't get. Because that, that's, what's, that's what's put in every child's mind that's fatherless. The father is in prison. They don't tell you that the father is in prison because he was out there hustling, trying. They, they don't tell you that. All they say is he made a wrong choice and he yeah. did something to take himself away from you. And he's a bad guy for that. And you should yeah. resent him. So right. if you're being raised by the television and you have no substance at home, you're going to fall for that. So once I came back home from college, um, I made it my business because every child is going to make it their business, regardless if you want to accept it or not, mama. And I'm not against any mothers out there, but regardless of how long you keep that child from that father or father raising a child that keeps the child from the mother, that child is going to find their other parent and they're going to have a conversation with them. And as a parent, you need to be prepared for the repercussions of that. So mm -hmm. long story short is I had a conversation with my mother and I asked my mother, did my father truly make a decision not to be a part of my life? Right. And right. Like, no. And my mother's very quiet, but she's very honest. She was like, no, that's not the case. Your father stayed away from you because he didn't want to deal with the issues that came with being involved with your life. Long story short, he didn't want to deal with my mother and he didn't want to deal with my grandmother. So he stayed away for his Man. own peace. 
So what do you say to people that always tell men that are not men, just keep on fighting, just keep on fighting when they don't understand? Sometimes that will drive a man crazy. And it should be easy. If that's the thing you're claiming that you want and this man is present, why are they making it so hard for men to be around, especially black men? Now, that that's a question that that I try to find the answer to all the time, because you two were good enough to conceive the child. But you two aren't good enough if you two don't work to work it out and make it happen. And I'm, I'm going to tell you this story. When I was at Morris Brown College, it was a conversation convocation. We used to have convocations each year. So it was Bishop Eddie Long, God rest his soul, he made this comment. And I'm not promoting this church or anything like that. But he made this comment that resonates with me to this day. So what Bishop Long said was, if you have a spiritual life and you believe in a higher power, God at that time only trusted my father to plant the seed in my mother. He was not a part, was supposed to be a part of who I became as a man. So later on in life, that's what I use because what I was going through from birth until I got to Morris Brown College, that wasn't the time that my father was supposed to be there because of whatever he had going on. So that, that's how I slept at night. But once I got to an age where I was man enough to form my own opinion and right. receive whatever information that I could receive from him, the two of us came together. And mm. for me, before my father passed, I had a relationship with my father and mm. I was able to find out some things that I did not know about myself and about him. So everybody's story is different when it comes to people who are being reared in in motherless homes or fatherless homes, but do the research before you cause yourself so much pain. Right. And find and out what, what Mama talked is. about it too. Right. What find out what's truly the root of that issue. There's always a foundation to every issue that every person has. And mm-hmm. you know that that's just from me. That's just from me in my official capacity dealing with, with children and dealing with adults. There's always a route to whatever issue that you're going to. And you just got to take the energy and the time to find it. 